Follow me as we take a look at this figure from Metal Slug. Now, what do I want to say? Welcome back to another episode of Nostalgia Poops Himself on camera. I'll be right back. That's right, we're taking a look at the other figure from the line from 5K Toys is where I got this one. This is a 112 scale collectible Tunshi Studio. So not a lot to look at on the outside of the box. Pretty simple. Everything you see is what you see. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Let's take it out. And if you didn't watch the review of Aerie, that's available, link in the description or at the end of this video, but it looks basically the same as what we're seeing here, but different figure on the inside. Isn't that weird? So side of the box, all those details that I love from the first one are available here in the second one. And look, I didn't even call this out last time and that's really important to me generally, is to say, look who's involved. These, this is what I like. I like when we know who the people are. Of course, I don't know who these people are, and there's not a lot of information to go off of to follow them on uh, like social media or something like that. But maybe they're out there and you can see what I what what they're what they're up to. <laughs> Why do I talk like that? And you get this kind of uh, embossed thing and a it's the, the other thing. What inside the box you get a little instruction sheet just like we did with Aerie. Then you get the layers and layers of stuff. A stand, a stand holder thing, and the bits and pieces and the boops and bobs. Boops, boops. Come with me and you'll see. As you can see, you get a bunch of accessories in the box. Let's take a look at this instruction sheet. I imagine it's a lot like the other one, but different because it's a different character. <laughs> so stupid. So same warnings of the outfit. Don't take it off because you might get damaged and all that stuff. Don't get it in the sun. You get some alternate heads, but you also get some glasses, which is really cool because I have glasses and I like when characters have glasses, which if you don't know, <laughs> sometimes I put glasses in Donatello just to make the internet angry. Looking further into the thing here and let me pay attention. So inside this box over here, the bomb box, are two pairs of glasses, thank you, because that means you're gonna lose one, so hey, you got backup. You also get two trigger fingers, you get a, a, a magazine, not a clip, for this gun, which is the same gun, unfortunately, that we got with Airy. You get food pieces, that's cool, and hands to hold the actual food. Then you get this little rocket uh, drone RC car thing. You get a couple weapons, weapons we've seen before. Unfortunately, she comes packed with these same weapons. This grenade, this ax slash baton, this gun, and this gun are all the same that you get with Airy, which is a real bummer. I'd like to have something different, a shotgun maybe, something cool, but whatever, you gotta reuse your parts or you gotta buy the other Metal Gear slug figures, which is, you know, where everything else is. So I have to put this all in my brain hole so in five minutes I don't go, how does this work? And you get limited range because of the clothing. This is really just a warning. They can really pose quite. What am I trying to say? The figures, the joints and stuff can pose basically as far as you could possibly want a figure to pose. However, the clothing, because of the stitched elements there, you're gonna have the limitations. So just keep that in mind. And the little box, all these bombs go in there just to replicate what you have seen in the game, which you've definitely played like I have. The magnets or the maggot, oops, which we also saw with Aerie, but it's a different color, a different ammo box. Uh, to, to pick up, to replenish, or to replace a weapon or whatever, because the S was a shotgun. What's this one? Incendiary. And it tells you how the stand works, which we've also seen with the other figure. And then the warning, of course, for the joints and the hands. Replace the hands, heat up the joints. Let's jump into the details of all these little things. So some of the stuff is pretty basic, right? So you got these little uh, bananas, which you could use with a lot of different figures if you wanted to. It's fine, it's a very simple item, but it obviously, it's, it's supposed to be. It's just there because of the game. If you play the game, you know. And you get this little ruby, which I'm gonna have a hard time holding because it's so tiny. There you go, a little, that's gotta be a ruby, right? But it's in there with the food. I don't know what that is. And you get this sandwich because she's a hungry girl, like a lot of us, but she's got what? Lettuce and tomato sandwich? <laughs> that's kind of boring. We'll just say it's a BLT, which, uh, you know, missiles, grenades, bombs. What, what, what are the, what is the correct word for this thing? Doesn't matter, a mortar thing. And then you got a ton of these, four. That's not really a ton. That's exactly four. And then you get this cannonball, which is pretty simple, but there's no cannon to put it in. You just get the ball and whatever, you, know, you put it in that box, I guess, is it. You get this gun, which the magazine does come out, but don't push on that thing because you'll break it like I did with the other figure. 
And then of course, like the other figure, if you haven't watched that review, there's actual paint on the bullets inside the magazine, which is wild to me. She also doesn't have any effects to go into the gun. So you would have to borrow that from other figures like Aerie. And the ax, which does come apart just like this. But you gotta be careful because you don't wanna snap this tiny little peg right there. But now you got, you got a two in one and it is real easy to snap that off. Pistol which is uh, just like the other one. I'm sure it's gotta be identical. This little box, which I, I do love. I love it from the last one because it has the handles and it just makes for some fun photography, which I did do in the other review. I'm just gonna, how many times am I gonna say like the other review? <laughs> and uh, yeah, the magnet, it seems like it's in a weird spot because it keeps moving around, but whatever. It's just there for funsies. The stand, which has great paint work. It looks really, really nice. Logos and things at the bottom of it. And then you just pop this thing into the bottom of it. And then you connect it to the other base. The weapons and things are identical with Aerie, same colors. So nothing unique there, but she gets the, the, the effects. <laughs> Poopy. So if you have multiple figures, you can take the base and you can clip them in. Oh, I didn't even notice this last time. So this this thing slides. <laughs> I said it hung over on the last one. Uh, no, it doesn't. Unless you just push it over. So there you go. Now you can have two bases. You can have multiple figures or just one figure with a long base. Doesn't matter. Now let's get into what everybody's here for, which is the figure. Starting with the, oh no, I made a messy. Starting with the hands, because we gotta know what hands are in this. This one, which we also got with Aerie, so she's gonna have like this kind of wide grip. Okay, so there's a there are a few gripping hands. One of them, which is what we got with our other figure, I think. <laughs> so stupid. So you get a couple different gripping hands and there's a slight difference. This one is just a full on gripping. All the fingers are kind of in the same uh, position to grab like a grenade or whatever. This one, however, you get a left and a right of because as you saw in the instructions, this is designed to hold the sandwich. So you get both hands there. The biggest difference is the pinky location. So pay attention to that when you're messing around. And then you get a left and right of these trigger fingers, which of course you could choose to use as a pointing finger if you wanted to. And by default, she's got these gripping hands, which uh, might be used for a couple things in here. We'll let them find out, but you could use them as fists if you want. Digging into the details of the figure itself, great sculpt work, great paint work on the face. Look at that around the eyes. You get a little bit of uh, coloring there and then the gloss finish on those eyes, which really make them pop. This is such a nicely done line. I mean, so far two for two on the, on the, on, on these. <laughs> so I can't use words. The hair does rotate, uh, so but it's not long enough to really give like any kind of particular action look, unfortunately. And I don't even know if it's supposed to rotate. It might just be that I loosened the glue just now. So be careful with that. The hat is attached. You can't take it off. It just looks the way it looks, folks, but that's what the character looks like. And then the body is something that we've seen. The colors are all just different. Again, if you watched the other review, you kind of get the same thing here with the little pouch, pack pouch, the fanny pack on the back. It's just all the colors are different. So a little more of the orange and brown colors, but it looks fantastic. The articulation is spectacular. Again, just the limitations of like the, the stitching in the clothing. Other than that, these things articulate incredibly well. The other head that's in the box is questionable. If you're a pervy boy and I see you in the comments going, no, we're not even gonna make that comment, I'll delete it. This head has a very simple purpose. It's to eat a sandwich, that's it. That is the only thing you can use it for. And if you use it for anything else, I will come and cut you down. And fix your display because you're nasty. But beyond that, you weirdos, this is fantastic. So look, look at this, the, the fabric textures of the hat. I love it, it's so good, so excellent. It's just it's beyond, beyond what you should get. And I realized just now that there's so many accessories I didn't look at. Oh man, I'm so stupid. We got to look at this little RC car, which is going to be a little explosivo boy. Now this effect, I bet you could plug into some other stuff, but it's pretty neat. It's blue. I wish it was red just so that it had more purpose for other things to look like a flame or something. This thing looks fantastic. The wheels move, of course, but uh, it, it's great. What a, what a good job on that thing. Now she comes with this because she comes with the sandwich because she's going to sit down and have a little picnic. How fancy. Inside this little ammo crate is where the glasses are stored for safety. But look at the details on this thing, the sculpt work, the paint, it's really very nicely done. And they even in, they even finished the bottom of the box, which you would never see. Inside there are two 
pairs of glasses. Now these are super, super simple. They are very short on the earpieces, so this is gonna be a fun little thing. Almost lost it immediately. This is gonna be a fun little set to uh, try to keep, to keep, period. That's it, end of, end of words. This isn't easy to do. Oh, I'm sweating trying to get these things on. That is not an easy setup, and they're a little bit crooked because the right side is a little too high for some reason, but, oh my God. I mean, it looks way better with them on. It's just, they're just simple metal pieces. They're not painted or anything. This is, uh, this is kind of annoying to get these things on. But I wonder if you can get them onto other figures. I don't think so. I think she's got gap between her hair and her face. All right, technically you can get it on there. It, they sit a little low because she doesn't have the gap really in her hair to allow them to push back, but uh, you could do it. Yeah, if you want to, there it is. It doesn't look as good as it does on her. So I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Look, go to 5K Toys, try to get a hold of these things. This one keeps selling out for whatever reason. For whatever reason, I don't know. I don't, I don't know why, <laughs> but there they are together. And obviously you could swap around the heads, it doesn't matter, but they're, they're basically the same thing. I noticed that there's a little bit of a difference in the upper half. There's, they're built a little bit different, <laughs> uh, whatever. But I think otherwise these have to be the same thing, right? They have the same scheme, the same skin tone, same everything else, same boots, the diff the different colors. So let me know down in the comments if this is one that you had to pick up. If not, um, why? I really wanna find more from this brand because they're doing some awesome work and I hope that they're messing with some other IPs. Click the top video there to watch the other review of Aerie. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.